Okay, hello everybody. Uh, given two vectors, v and w, the dot product allows us to break v into two components, one component along w and one component normal to w. Uh, part a is, oops, uh, give the formulas. Okay, so part c is use cartoon pictures as part of your explanation, so I'll do that right away. So let's say this is V, this is W. Uh, we're going to break V into two pieces. So this green piece will be a long W, and this pink piece is normal to W. And so the formula is that the um, uh, component of V along W, which is this green one, is equal to uh, some amount of W. So, you know, this green vector points in the same direction as W. So the question is just, you know, how much, how much should we scale W by? The answer is given by this formula, v dot w divided by w dot w. And that's it. This is a real number, this is a real number, and this real number scales the vector w. Component of v normal to w, that means normal means 90 degrees, or orthogonal, perpendicular. Well, that's just v minus this green part. So uh, this is a little tricky to see for the first time. But if I start at v, and then I subtract the green vector, then I'm like that, minus the green vector, I will end up at the pink vector. And so that's why I know the pink vector is equal to v minus the, um, I would call this the tangential component. So this is one of the along number w is called tangential component. And then this one is called the normal component. And we'll see this in many problems later. OK, so those are the formulas. Part b explain the projection formula using triangles, the normalized vector, and properties of the dot product. Okay, so part B. So the triangle that's going to be involved is this triangle right here. Um, this triangle has an angle, oh, well, let me see. Let me put the triangle in purple, this triangle. And it has radius the length of v. And so we know that the length of v sine theta is this uh, opposite leg, and that the length of v cos theta is this adjacent leg. So this length equals v cos theta. So that is the using triangles part. OK. Now, to me, the next thing that occurs, so I've, I've done this, I've done this um, many times before. And the first time I did it, I had to look and, and Thinking I couldn't do it the first time, nor the second time, nor the third. But this is going to pay off, so I do it many times. And finally, I now sort of know how to do it after many tries. And the property of the dot product that occurs is this one. So v dot w is equal to the length of v times the length of w times the cosine of the angle between. 
So this is a important property of the dot product. Now, if uh, w hat is equal to the vector w divided by its length is a unit vector, then v dot w hat is equal to the length of v times the length of w, which is 1 times the cosine of the angle between. So this becomes a 1 if I use the unit vector. OK. So explain the projection formula using triangles, the normalized vector, and properties of the dot product. One last property of the dot product. So here's my properties of the dot product. Uh, one last property of the dot product, maybe I'll make it this color, is that if I have C times VW, that is equal to CV dot W, which is equal to V dot CW. And so in particular, if I take 1 over the length, this is a real number, this is C. If C equals 1 over the length, then v over w divided by 1 over the length is equal to v over w divided by the length of w, um, which is just v dot w hat. So this is the property called linearity of the dot product of dot product, sort of in each slot. So I can put the, the scalar, um, you know, so if c is a, real, is a real number, then this is true. And so in particular, if c is 1 over the length, I can move it inside or outside, and it's all the same. Now why is this true? So if I had 1 over the length of w times v dot w, remember v dot w is v1, w1, plus v2, w2, plus v3, w3, etc., etc., forever and ever. Let's say it's just a three-dimensional vector. Oops, this should be a w3. Then this is just the distributive law of multiplying real numbers, that this is equal to w1 over length of w plus v2 times w2 over the length of w plus v3 times w3 over the length of w. And this is the dot product of v dotted with w hat. Namely, what are the components of w hat? They're just like this. because w hat was w over the length of w. OK, so this is why linearity works. Now, how do these things all come together? Well, if we look over here in this picture, the length of our projected vector is length of v cos theta. But that is v dot w hat. Now if we put that in the direction of w, then this is our projected vector equals our desired projected vector, the green vector, um, like that. But this piece is v over w times the length of w. And this piece is w divided by the length of w. Sorry, I should say I've divided by. But this is just v, oops, v dot w 
over w, w. So now I just brought this one and this one both down there. And this is w dot product with itself. Because remember, the length of w is equal to the square root of w dot w. And so if I square both sides, I get that this equals this. And so this formula comes from this picture, this geometry of triangles. It comes from this property of the dot product. When we plug in a unit vector, so that we get uh, the length of V cos theta, which is the correct length from our triangle picture. And then the key fact is that we can pull this number out of the dot product. And then pull this number out of the unit vector. And together, they combine to give w dot w, which finally gives us our formula. Okay, this is a tough problem, but it's worth your time. Um, you don't have to do it exactly the way I did it, um, but you should work it through in a way that you understand. And yeah, this is not something that you'll that you'll be able to do right away.